What's up everyone? My name's Jason. Welcome back to the channel. I really do appreciate you being here. Today we're going to make something a little different, uh, something I've never made before, and that's brown butter bites. But instead of just a basic recipe, we're going to add in some of this keto chow chocolate toffee mix. See how it turns out. Could be good, could be bad. Who knows? But stick around, find out what happens. So, like I said in the intro, uh, I've never actually made brown butter bites, um, so this is my first time. Uh, just a basic recipe to start off with. I watched a few different uh, channels and their, their version of this. Um, so I just started off with half a pound of unsalted butter. Um, I typically like to get all unsalted butter because you just never know how, what kind of salt is in it. Um, I didn't show it, but at the end, I actually add some uh, coarse pink Himalayan salt to the uh, the butter bites uh, before I put them in the freezer, just to add the salt in at the end. So we're just gonna let this uh, uh, get started and start melting. I will uh, speed this up because it's really not anything too exciting, but. Uh, we get through the actual melting process. I think it took about 10 or 11 minutes uh, in real time to get to uh, the, the brown part. So I was melting the butter on my stove. It was uh, just around medium heat, so three out of six. And I uh, made sure to stir constantly, uh, especially once it started boiling. I didn't want it to uh, burn on the bottom of the pan. Again, I've never actually made the, the brown butter bites before, so it's just kind of winging it at this point but you can see it's starting to uh, boil off some of the moisture or the water in the in the butter you scrape down the sides uh, make sure all those those solids don't burn on the side you want to get them down in the bottom of the mixture so here we go where it's starting to clear up um, we're getting close to it uh, starting to brown I kept turning up the uh, the heat a little bit and turning it down. I had had a little bit of trouble keeping it to where I wanted, but uh, it was mostly uh, just over medium or medium heat. see the the butter starting to brown now so I'm gonna continue to stir it until I get it to the I got it to the point where I thought it was uh, sufficiently browned so now we're gonna take it off the heat seconds here you can see the brown bits starting to come up so I have this uh, uh, silicone mold I like this one because it's got a steel frame so you don't have to put it on a pan uh, when you put it in the fridge um, so we're going to transfer the the brown butter from the 
the saucepan here into uh, just a Pyrex uh, measuring cup, make it easier to um, get it into the mold. So I was just making sure that I scraped all the brown bits off the bottom of the pan and got them out of there because we don't want to miss those parts. So for this recipe here, the uh, I decided to make some that are just the brown butter. So I, uh, what you'll see here is I scooped out, that's a tablespoon measuring spoon. So I just scooped out uh, four butter bites that don't have the keto chow mixed into them. stirring it up in between so we can uh, make sure to get some of those browned uh, pieces into each bite. Okay, so this is the keto chow mix. That's three teaspoons of the chocolate toffee powder. I was trying to decide whether or not to use it all, but I figured I might as well just put it all in. Um, again, I started with half a pound of butter, uh, just for reference. Now I'm just mixing the powder into the, into the butter so that we can put it in the molds. It mixed in pretty good, uh, like it dissolved in nice, didn't thicken it up at all. I was I was kind of worried about whether or not the the, the powder would uh, change the consistency of the butter, but it didn't uh, it didn't change it too much. So the rest of the bites are going to be the keto chow ones. I think I got wound up getting ten of those ones, something like that. And I'm just going back and adding some of the brown bits to each one from the bottom of the, the pan. So those went into the freezer for an hour and this is what they turned out like. Like you can see the first four, this first one I'm popping out is straight butter. You can see the bits in the bottom of it. And then this is the one with the keto chow mixed in. You can see they look similar. They're pretty close to the same uh, in looks. Okay, so here's the uh, the butter bites after being in the freezer for about an hour. These are the four that are just uh, straight butter, and then these ones here had the keto chow mixed in. So this is the the butter one, and this is the keto chow. So what I figured I'd do just. Uh, see whether or not it makes a big difference is I just try both of them. So I'm gonna try one that's just the straight butter. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, it's just uh, obviously, you know, it's a brown butter bite. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll try this one that has the keto chow mixed in. Remember it uh, had three teaspoons of the, 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 the shake mix mixed into it. And then I separated it out into uh, multiple bites.
Mm. Yeah, that worked out pretty good. It's uh, you can definitely tell that it's got the, the keto chow mix in it. Not too sweet. You can still taste the, the the nuttiness of the butter. So I think overall that was a that was a, I'll give that a win. You know, it was uh, the first time I've actually tried the uh, uh, keto chow mix. So. I didn't really know what to expect, um, but it tasted really good actually. Um, so I would recommend trying it if you're, if you're into making uh, butter bites and you have keto chow on hand. So there's lots of different flavors you can make, so I'm, I'm sure a lot of the different flavors would go with this. So. That's about it for this video. Uh, like I said, just something new. I wanted to try this for a while, so if you have any uh, any other ideas of what uh, what flavors we could put into the butter bites just leave a, a comment down below and if you like this kind of content uh, please consider subscribing hit that thumbs up and we'll see you next time keep on thriving my friends